everyone! In today's video, we're gonna see how to add borders to our HTML elements. We can add borders to our paragraphs, to our images, to our lists. So we're gonna see how to do that and which property to use for that. And we're gonna see also how to change the border width, how to change the border color, how to change uh, the border style, and how to change the border radius also. But before we get started, I gotta announce our shout out winner. So today's shout out winner goes to Bushra Jauheri. Thank you so much Bushra for watching my videos and for subscribing to my channel and for following me. Thank you so much for your support. So if you wanna get a shout out, all you have to do is to be the first one who comments on my video. Now let's jump to my computer to get started. So to add the border to our elements, it is really very simple. All we have to do is to use the border property. So here we have two elements. We have our paragraph, which is this one, and we have an image, okay? So to add, for example, a border to our paragraph, we have to grab our paragraph, select it here between the style tags like this, and apply to it a border like this so we're gonna apply to it first a border style we're gonna give a style to this border so the property that we're gonna use is border style and actually there are many style of the border so we're gonna start with the first one which is solid like this let's save everything let's go to the browser and refresh and you see we have here our border so we can use other types of uh, border like for example we can use uh, dashed instead of solid like this dashed and let's go to the browser and you see we have here a dashed type or style of the border so we can uh, carry on like this and use other uh, style of the border like dotted so let's refresh and you see the outcome you see the difference so here we have a dotted border and we can also use another type which is for 3d uh, outcome like inset actually there are three uh, there are two uh, for for 3d two uh, kind of border style that we can use for 3d so let's go to the to to the browser and refresh and you see the outcome here so this is not that clear because we have to uh, use another property that we're gonna see in a couple of minutes. So here is uh, the 3D border and the other style is outset. And let's go to the browser, refresh and you see. So this is the outset style which is meant for 3D also. And there are some other styles also. Now uh, we're gonna use the uh, another property of the border which is border width border width so this property we can use it to play with the width of the border to make it thicker or normal or lighter so we can use for example two pixels for this one to see uh, what we're gonna have first and then we can change it after so two pixels it, it didn't change anything let's move it to like for example let's say 15 pixels let's go back to the browser refresh and you see here we have our 15 pixels border so th there is a big difference between 2 pixels and 15 pixels okay so we can use uh, another type of border just to see for example let's change here and put solid the solid border and keep the width to 15 pixels and you see so this is 15 pixels of the solid border let's change it to uh, 45 let's go crazy and change it to 45 guys and let's see here so you see this is 45 pixels okay so let's move it back to just 5 pixels i think 5 pixels is okay 5 pixels is enough so let's refresh and we have our border here and the other property the last one uh, it is border color and it is to change the color of the border border color like let's say we want our border to be blue so let's refresh here in the browser and you see we have our uh, border 
which is blue and we can play with the colors all around of course so as you can see to change the border of our elements we have three different properties we have border style border width and border color but these three properties we can just combine them into one which is this one just write border like this and say that we want the width of our border to be 5 pixels and we want the style to be solid and we want the color to be blue like this and remove all this stuff because it, it is no longer necessary and save everything and go to the browser and you see nothing changes because we have kept all our properties all what we have done is we have combined the three properties into one and added them in one line so we can like for example change here and say like inset and change here and say that we want uh, the width of our border to be 14 and change the color uh, to red for example and save everything and go back to the browser refresh and you see so our 3d border plus the color plus plus the width so we can do the same thing to our image exactly the same property so all we have to do is to select our image like this or it is already selected here you see i i have already added a width to our image so it is already selected so we're going to use our border and add the width let's say that we want the width of the border of our image to be like 16 pixel and we want the style to be dashed and we want the color to be purple so let's go to the browser and refresh and you see we have here our uh, border all right so now uh, we're gonna see how to change the radius of our border like for example you can look here at the corner so how can we make this corner a little bit round all right and the right corner also and the bottom right corner and the bottom left corner all right so let's see how to do that so to change the border radius of uh, the corner or, or of the border so we're gonna use the border radius property so we're gonna apply the border radius property to our paragraph first to see the outcome let's add border radius and the border radius property actually takes four parameters it takes the left top corner let's say that uh, we want our top left corner to be 15 pixels round and then after that the value after that is the value of the top right corner so we want our top right corner to be 20 pixels round and the value after that is the value of the bottom right corner so we want our bottom right corner to be just two pixels round and then the last value uh, is going to be the value of the bottom left corner and we're going to set the value to let's say 30 pixels okay and so let's go to the browser and refresh and you see so here this value the bottom left corner is 30 pixels and here so it is here it is 15 pixels and here it is 20 and here it is 2 so as you can see there is not a lot of difference between 2 pixels and 0 pixels okay so we can do the same thing for for our image let's go back uh, and do the same thing we can add a border radius and we can set our parameters to like let's say for the top left corner we want uh, 20 pixels for the top right corner we want 15 pixels for the bottom uh, right corner we want 4 pixels and for the bottom left corner we want 3 pixels so let's go back to the browser and refresh and you see here are the changes okay so that's all for this video i hope you liked it if so give me a thumb up and share my videos and comment below let me know how do you feel about my videos if you need anything more explanation if you need more videos like this so that i can provide you with more content and don't forget to subscribe to my channel